Hey, what's up, guys? This is John Spear Warhammer. Hope you guys are having a good day. So, today we are going to be going over an 8 pin relay. So, relays are basically electromagnetic switches um, that operate in different functions that will allow you to do completely different things. Um, you know, you can either turn something on or have something disconnected from power. So, uh, just jumping right into it, I'm just going to give you guys the general basics and understanding of what the different terminals mean on an A pin. So, let's start with normally close and normally open. So, normally closed. Let's just start with the word normally. What does normally mean? Normally means de-energized. Closed means the circuit is closed. I know that is silly to put the definition into the thing. Closed meaning connected. Open meaning disconnected. Normally meaning de energized. So a de energized connected circuit, a de energized not connected circuit is the easiest way I can explain that. Um, so that's what these this top half is. This bottom half. So your 7 and your 2 are going to be your coil, which there's all kinds of different coils that can be operated on a relay because a relay is essentially just something using a small voltage to turn on a big voltage. Is a the primary use for a relay um, other than a abundance of other things a very handy tool to know so the coil being seven and two um, is in this particular case let's just say it's 120 so your hot will come in here and your neutral will come in here now I get a bunch of questions about um, the configuration I just like to do left to right it doesn't matter it really doesn't so you can put the neutral over here and the hot over here and it will work what you can't do is just have a hot and that's it unless it's a 240 coil then you'd put hot hot but in any other particular case you need a hot and a neutral or a neutral and a hot it doesn't matter which way it goes on the thing it doesn't care this is your power coming in or your switch leg depending on what type of application you're going to be using but these will be that um, so the way I like to think about it in my head or whatever when I try to break it up for you guys on this thing is that one being your power or your switch leg in or out is going to be operating four and three eight is going to be operating six and five so if you remember that basically this imaginary line in between <coughs> your relay this is basically how it's operated Okay, so now that we understand that, and that it's basically two separated um, configurations, you know, hopefully that makes some sense. Um, let's move on to the, the way that it is numbered. So the way it's numbered is counterclockwise 
with the pin being down. So sometimes you'll run into a issue when you're troubleshooting when um, these numbers are faded and you're having a hard time remembering which is which. So what you want to do is knowing that the pin is facing down, it goes counterclockwise from the pin. So starting counterclockwise from the first terminal, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So it goes in a counterclockwise motion around the pin when it's facing towards the bottom. So that's the, for me, that's the easy way to remember it. Now, well, let's say you have your power coming in on the one terminal, but you have your contacts on five and six. Is that going to work? Absolutely not. The only way you can make it work is if you jumper over here. That's the only way that particular portion will work. So I think we'll end there. Um, if you guys have any specific questions on an A pin relay or a particular model, please let me know. I'll be happy to do my best to try to figure out what to do in your particular application. So, please, if you guys liked it, and hopefully you guys gathered some information out of it, my name is John Spear. I'm with Warhammer Electric. I'm doing my best to try to update the, the everyone from an apprentice to a journeyman, to a foreman, to a troubleshooter, to service guy, industry guys, everything I can. So if you guys have an idea for a particular video that you want to know more knowledge on, please let me know. I'll do my, ha do my best to happily try to make it into a video that is easily understandable by uh, the most beginner of beginners to the most advanced of advanced and break it down in a way that is understandable. Thank you guys. Please like and subscribe to the Warhammer page. Um, your guys' support truly helps and I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for everything. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.